Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaur Museum. Medium Carnivorous Dinosaurs. Loader, the Cryolophosaurus, Tough Hunter. Scientific name, Cryolophosaurus. Period, Early Jurassic. Fossils found in Antarctica. Description, Cryolophosaurus was a medium-sized, 6.5 meter long dinosaur with a combed like crest. It was the first dinosaur discovered in Antarctica. Antarctica must be the most unusual place on planet Earth. It is the last continent discovered and still without any human settlement. Covered by ice sheet all year round, its extreme weather and geography result in its hinterland being almost barren, except for a handful of plants and insects. However, you will be mistaken in thinking those were the only life forms in Antarctica. Somewhere in this extreme coldness, plants and animals thrive. The ocean around Antarctica is buzzing with many of them. Fish, seals, penguins, whales, krill, coral, seabirds, and seaweed, to name just a few. And the animals we see in Antarctica are only a fraction of what it had 200 million years ago. Antarctica was cold, but not yet covered by ice. Tall forests stood along its coast, while dinosaurs ran on land. Ancient animals and plants thrive on the continent. This cryolophosaurus named Loader was a native to Antarctica. It was a ferocious carnivorous dinosaur that lived in early Jurassic. The medium-sized dinosaur was about 6.5 meters long, 2.5 meters tall, and weighed about 500 kilograms. Apart from the sharp teeth and claws, it was almost easily identified by its crest. The wrinkled crest looked like a small cum, or the towering hairstyle of Elvis Presley, the American singer, earning Cryolophosaurus the nickname Elvisaurus. The brightly colored crest was not a weapon, more probably a decoration for attracting the opposite sex. Cryolophosaurus was the first Antarctica dinosaur to be named but not the first one discovered there. In 1986, people found an ankylosaur in Antarctica, but did not name it. Only in 1991, after two scientists discovered and named Cryolophosaurus, the first dinosaur was subsequently named Antarctopelta. Later, scientists continued to find fossils in the continent, including two in 2004, one carnivorous and one herbivorous. In addition, they speculate that these two dinosaurs might have been native to Antarctica, meaning that their species had always lived there. Billions of years ago, the snowing Antarctica was less cold than it is now, but still colder than other parts of the world. Dinosaurs that lived there needed adaptive features. Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaurs Museum. Join our writer, Miss Yang Yang, and artist, Mr. Zhao Chuang, and start this fantasy journey.